this chapter, I'm going to give you a quick introduction to the various languages and tool chains that support compilation to WebAssembly. In this video, we're starting with MScript, and this allows you to compile C or C++ code to WebAssembly. Now, I'm not going to cover the instructions for installing the MScript and toolchain itself. Those are covered quite nicely on, the, on their website, and they're platform specific. So if you want to follow along, I'd recommend you visit their website. In this example, I'm using Visual Studio Code, although you can use pretty much the editor of your choice. MScript is not tied to a particular uh, development environment. Now, once you've installed MScript, and the first thing you need to do is get your uh, path set up to point to the MScript and compiler, which I've just done in the console here. So the WebAssembly application that I'm going to be demonstrating is a very simple Hello World application. So here we can see my C++ application that just prints the message Hello World. So with MScripten, we use the EM++ uh, command line tool to compile my, um, my C++ code to WebAssembly. Now you can see as part of the compilation process, it's created a few different files, which I'll walk you through just now. The first one is hello.wasm, our WebAssembly file, which is 12 kilobytes. So this is the, the comp compiled output of that C++ code. The next is hello.js, a JavaScript file. Now, as we've, as we've learned already in this course, WebAssembly itself only supports numeric types. So in order to do anything that involves interacting with strings or objects or other richer types, you need a certain amount of glue logic on both the WebAssembly and the JavaScript, the host uh, side of the application. So MScripten is, is generating the code required, generating the glue code required to allow us to, in this case, return a string to the host environment. The final thing that MScript is generating is a HTML file, which is simply a test harness for running your, your application. So I have a server running, so let's have a quick look at the output. So here you can see the MScript and test harness, and it is indeed outputting hello world. If we go back to the application and maybe make a change, add a few more exclamation marks, recompile, you'll see that um, I've got live server running, so it's, it's automatically reloaded this part, uh, file. You can see that the uh, message has been updated. So that's a very simple um, demonstration of C++ compiled to WebAssembly. What I'm going to do now is update the code to something a little bit more rich, which is a, a, as a means of demonstrating some of the other features of MScripten. So here, uh, it's now a 70 line file and um, what this is is it's an application that creates a Mandelbrot fractal so a Mandelbrot is a is a visually um, rich fractal that you can generate with a relatively few lines of code now the code itself is is relatively simple straightforward running a a fairly simple algorithm um, I'm not going to go into any of the details of how a Mandelbrot set works here you, you can google that yourself What's interesting is now our, our main function. So we're still printing hello world, but this time after creating the Mandelbrot set, we're making use of various different API methods here. Now, MScripten is much more than just a C++ WebAssembly compiler. It has support for various uh, pre-existing C++ APIs. In this case, we're using Simple Direct Media Layer, or SDL, which is a cross-platform API that was uh, invented about 22 years ago, which provides a cross-platform API for media, audio, video, and so on. In this case, we're using the, the cross-platform SDL APIs to create a, a rendering surface. And after the Mandelbrot's uh, been computed, we're iterating over the, over the pixels of this rendering surface and, and setting the pixel value of each. Now, if I compile and run, we now see within our test harness that the canvas is now outputting the, the Mandelbrot set. So also one interesting observation is our WebAssembly file, if you look in the bottom right hand corner here, is now quite a lot larger. Previously it was around about 12 kilobytes, now it's 279 kilobytes. And the JavaScript um, uh, binding code is also quite a lot larger as well. What I think this is, is a nice illustration that, C, that M, MScripten is more than just a C++ to WebAssembly compiler. It has a lot of um, useful APIs that have been used in the, in the C++ world for a, for a number of years, and it makes it really quite easy to port existing C++ code bases to WebAssembly.